Hi, welcome to video tutorial 4a. Uh, this is a sending attributes tutorial and it's supplemental to uh, tutorial 4. I had gotten some questions about the attributes object and specifically um, people were unable to send them around. Well, what an interesting problem. Um, you may recall our patcher here with the beautiful flashing colors and some people wanted to be able to well, that's just hilarious. There we go. There we go. Back to black and white. How strange. Um, I thought this one was blue. Maybe it is. Blue and red. How did I change that? I must have been making sloppy errors. Um, just shift click on that. Make sure that... Let's see here. Okay, so blue and red. Blue and red. Oh, that's right, it was pink and green. This one was supposed to be pink and green. So we click on it twice. Pink, green, a light green. A nice, lovely light green would be nice here. And a nice, lovely pink. There we go. And we'll just shift click on that. Don't know what I was doing. Okay, let's see if it worked out. Okay, so there's the pink and green, there's red and blue, black and white, everything working. Great. Back to where we were. So, um, if you want to send attributes to objects, you can't do it because one of the things that the attribute object, and let's just zoom in and look at the old attribute object here. Um, the attribute object can tell what attribute it's controlling by what it's connected to. And if you unlock your patcher and then um, let's make a send object, okay? So type N for new object, S is for send, and we'll start at the beginning of the alphabet, Apple. It's not that I love Apple products, though I do have a few, but uh, another N, and we'll type receive, which you can abbreviate with an R in this case, and also Apple. Okay, now supposedly this in the real world should, in the Max world, excuse me, should be the same, right? Because this receiver is going to receive Apple wherever it is, and this is going to send. But the problem is that now this object does not know what it's connected to anymore because there can be any number of receive apples out there and it's not a direct connection. This just sort of transmits like a broadcast antenna and this receives, but it doesn't go the other way around. So you would have to send your attributes over here and it confuses outline color and now outline color doesn't know what it's attached to. Now, you might wonder, well, why doesn't it just control the objects of the send object? And the only reason it doesn't is because objects themselves, since they don't usually appear as a user interface, don't have attributes. They simply are what they are. There are no attributes to an object. So, um, if we connected this to something else, um, maybe a toggle, for example, it's got to unlock here and just uh, let's make a big toggle. Then suddenly, you know, there may be attributes. Uh -oh, uh -oh, color. Yeah, see now there's a background color and woo! And uh, Lots of, you know, and a, a checked color. Oh, you know, that could be interesting. And a, uh, probably a line width, you know. Um, border color. Here's a border color. And we could make a, uh, oops, sorry. Gotta pick a color then. Blue. So now that it's, let me just move this out of the way here. So now that it's connected to something again, it can um, it can control them. But when it's connected to a send object, it can't. So 
Um, here, I'm just going to lock it and see if it runs everything the same colors as it had before. No. It keeps them the same because it didn't used to be border color and uh, whatnot. It was button color and other things. So let's put this back. Well, let's not put this back. Let's figure out how we can send. Um, what were we sending to this thing? It was like the out. Let's connect it again. And there we go. And oh, I hate that messy, messy, messy. There you go. Wrap yourself. Okay. And we'll get rid of that because we don't need it. All right. So, what do we do now? If we want to send a color somewhere, um, we, I think this was outline color, and then we can get our, our uniformity back here. Well, the simple answer is this. Um, what you can do is send the message that the attribute object would be sending without the um, functionality of the attribute object knowing what attribute it is. So we know that this thing can accept an outline color. So what we can do is send it the message outline color. And you might think that that's pretty wacky, but um, just believe me, if you send it outline color, let's just try a simple message. Oops, got to unlock. Type M and you've got a message. Now type outline color and then it receives this color in a, um, in a, what do you call it, RGBA. So now we have to type a bunch of uh, uh, decimal numbers in here. So 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.99, and let's just say 0 0.5. Okay, the last one should be saturation. And let's just see if this works, and then we'll move forward from here. Okay, so we'll hook this up to this object, and then we'll lock our patcher, and we'll just click on it. Amazing. So this number caused our little outline color here to turn blue. Well, that is almost useless. <laughs> Um, unless you just want one certain color and you know what these numbers are going to be. So how could we do this using a swatch? Well, let's, um, now that we know what this word is that we can send, and we also know, oh, here, I can show you how we can find that number out. We'll type message here, and we'll type, uh, we'll connect the non- sending input to it, lock our patcher, and now we'll just try to get that color blue or as much as we can. Oh, it's changing that color blue. But now you can see the four numbers, and I'm going to really zoom in so you can see it just kind of breaks them up into a row. So 0 0.04, 0 0.37, 1 1.0, 1.0 is now this blue number. Okay, so we, we know that we want to send it that message with the word outline color and we want to send it from Apple here. So let's do a little deleting here. We unlock our patch or we get rid of this, delete it, get out of here. We get rid of this attribute object as well. There it's selected, now it's deleted. And type the letter N, and now we're going to have a new object called the prepend object. And you can just see it wants to make a prepend object. And then type outline color again. Okay, so what will this do? Any message coming out of here through this line that we are going to connect right now is going to get prepended meaning it will stick this word on the front, outline color. And then we could send it to this box, or we could 
send it by way of Apple remotely. So let's try it. There's my patcher locked. And now if we wiggle this thing around, we can make a nice yellow outline, an orange outline, whatever we want. Okay, so that's a way that you can send things and receive them without the problem of the attribute, because the attribute object can't send. So if you do this, that's one way to get around it. Um, and you can put as many of these receive apples as you want, by the way. Option, whoops, unlock your patcher, and option click this a few times. The next thing you know, you can you know, run it up here. Um, oh, it doesn't have an outline color. It'll get confused. Oh no! Is there any way to get around that? There is. But, that is possibly... Okay, well, you, oh, right, I got dragged into this one, and I shouldn't have, but okay. Let's do it this way, then. We'll take our prepend color here, and we'll just connect. We're just going to send the numbers out. Okay, get out of here. And then we'll connect prepend outline color to just this button and the receive. Right, let's delete that and connect it this way. Let's see if it still works. Lock it down. Oh my goodness, it still works. Miracle of miracles. So now we know if we want to send things around and heck with this one, well, maybe it would be that's something on the slider that uh, we don't get to, let's say, the knob color. If we want to affect the knob color, we click on it, and we see the word that it's going to send, knob color, right? So now um, we can come down here, unlocking the patcher, and just duplicate this. Oh, oh, oh. That was not, I can push the option key. There we go. Now I'm going to say knob color here. And bring this whole mess up here. Gonna get rid of that. Goodbye. And put this one up. So now, if we lock our patcher and move this around, I don't know if you can see the knob over there, um, right in the middle now. Keep your eye on that. Let's try yellow. Oh, it's yellow. Blue, very hard to see, but there it is. So, um, this is a nice, uh, let's uh, hold on to these um, presets, and then, uh, as you can Oops, I forgot to do that. And uh, now you can see it keeps them all synced up with the black and white theme. Black and green theme, red and black theme. So, awesome. So now you know how to send attributes around and even how to keep one color um, controlling very, oops, controlling very specific um, you know, we could have uh, just deleted this now. One color swatch could control a number of different attributes for different objects, and that's how you send them. Thanks a heck of a lot for suffering through that. Goodbye, colors. In this stunning tutorial, sending attributes. All right, everybody. Patch well, and I will see you next time. Take care.